الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. Respected teachers, elders, students, and parents. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'll be talking about the Quran, the holy book of Islam. It holds great significance in the lives of many Muslims worldwide. It is the literal word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through Angel Jibreel alayhi salam. The Quran serves as our guide providing moral, spiritual, and practical teachings. Today I'll mention few virtues of the Quran and benefits of memorizing it. The Quran holds immense virtue and significance in our faith. The virtue encompasses various aspects. Number one, guidance and enlightenment. The Quran serves as a comprehensive guide providing us with moral, spiritual, and practical guidance in all aspects of life. It illuminates the path of righteousness, helping individuals, seek, uh, helping individuals navigate challenges, make ethical choices, and seek closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, source of knowledge and wisdom. The Quran contains a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. It addresses a wide range of topics such as theology, law, ethics, spirituality, and human behavior. We turn to the Quran to gain knowledge, deepen our understanding, and find answers to life's questions. Number three, source of comfort and healing. The, Qur the Quran provides solace and tranquility to believers. Its recitation and reflection can bring inner peace, ease anxiety, and provide comfort during times of distress. We find solace in the verses of the Quran, turning to them for spiritual healing and emotional support. Number four, preservation and miracle. One of the remarkable virtues of the Holy Quran is its preservation over centuries. The Quran remains uncha unchanged since its, since its revelation, maintaining its original form, language, and message. This preservation is seen as a miracle and a testament to the divine nature of the Holy Quran. Number five, divine blessings. We believe that reciting and contemplating upon the Qur'an brings abundant rewards and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a virtuous act to recite the Qur'an with proper understanding and heartfelt devotion. We strive to incorporate the teachings of the Qur'an into our daily lives, seeking Allah's pleasure and blessings. Now I'll be talking about the benefits of memorizing the Qur'an. Memorizing the Qur'an and reciting it from memory holds numerous benefits for individuals who undertake this noble endeavor. Here are some benefits of memorizing the Qur'an. Number one, spiritual connection. Memorizing the Quran fosters a deep spiritual connection with the divine. It allows individuals to internalize the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and establish a personal relationship with the, with the Quran. This process of memorization involves repetitive recitations, enabling the heart and mind to absorb the profound teachings of the Holy Quran. Number two, preservation of the Quran. By memorizing the Qur'an, individuals contribute to its preservation. As the Qur'an has been memorized and passed down from one generation to another, it ensures that the exact words and recitations are preserved, maintaining the integrity of this divine scripture. Memorization acts as a safeguard against any potential loss or alteration to the Qur'anic text. Number three, increased understanding. Memorizing the Qur'an involves studying its meanings, reflecting on its verses, and understanding its context. This process deepens one's understanding of the Qur'an's teachings, leading to a broader comprehension of its message. Number four, enhance focus and concentration. Memorizing the Qur'an requires discipline, concentration, and attentiveness. It trains the mind to focus on specific verses, pronunciation, and melody, the read ball minimizing distraction. This practice of sustained concentration during memorization can have positive effects on other areas of life. Improve in focus and attention to detail. Number five, spiritual rewards and blessings. No, spiritual rewards. Memorizing the Quran is highly esteemed in Islam and it is an act of great virtue. It brings numerous spiritual rewards and, uh, rewards and blessings. Each verse memorized is a source of immense reward in this life and the hereafter. The memorizer of the Qur'an is also granted a special status and honor in the community. Number six, ease of access to divine guidance. Once the, once, once the Qur'an has been memorized, it becomes readily accessible to the memorizer. They can recite it from memory at any time, even without access to the physical copy. This allows individuals to seek solace, guidance, and inspiration from the Qur'an whenever they need it, even in situations where the physical Qur'an may not re readily be available. 
Number seven, serving as a beacon of light. Those who memorize the Quran becomes ambassadors of its teachings. The ability to recite and convey the message of the Quran becomes a, Quran becomes a means of sharing knowledge and inspiring others. Memorizers can teach others, lead prayers, and, and contribute to the spiritual development of their community. Memorizing the Quran is a deeply rewarding endeavor that strengthens one's faith, facilitates a personal connection with the divine, and allows for a comprehensive understanding of the Quran's message. It is a lifelong commitment that brings, Im uh, that brings immense spiritual rewards and spiritual and intellectual benefits, benefits, both individually and for a wider community. I hope this has increased our understanding, uh, understanding and desire for reading, learning, and memorizing the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us towards the Quran and allow us to be true ambassadors of His holy book. Ameen. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.